All right, so we're gonna dive in and get started. We're gonna talk about how to take advantage of the coronacation, as my 11-year-old daughter calls it, and grow your practice cheaper and faster than ever before. Uh, quick, uh, I'm gonna make this as interactive as po and informal as possible. I'm gonna ask you lots of questions. If you type answers in the chat box, that would really help uh, make this more interactive. Uh, before Corona hit, were you doing in-person seminars? Give me a yes or no in the chat box. Were you doing seminars? Eddie says yes, awesome. Yes, 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 awesome, okay. Uh, have you been told to switch to doing an online webinar? To take your presentation and put it online because people can't obviously drive out to the restaurant or the library or the community center. We're gonna talk about why you can't just run your in-person seminar online and get the same results. I know, because mine flopped. Uh, we're gonna talk about why in just a minute. Um, we're gonna talk about how I close over a million dollars a month in annuities without leaving my house in Buffalo, New York, and how other advisors are using my turnkey franchise model, that's in air quotes, to do the same thing. Yep, Dan says his seminar, his webinar flopped too. Yep, we're gonna talk about why. All right, uh, real quick before we dive in, uh, this is your brain um, doing one thing at a time. This is your brain on multitasking. So if you could please close your other browser windows, close the tabs you've got open, put your phone on vibrate, uh, tell the kids if they're home not to interrupt you. Um, that would be awesome. That way you should have paper ready to take notes. You will get more out of this. You will learn more. You'll retain more if you take notes. And oh, by the way, our app that's integrated with this webinar software tells us who's paying attention and who's not. Uh, so Bruce, if you could close Facebook, please. Um, Tayton, if you could get out of your email. Thank you very much. I won't call everybody out. I'm sorry. But yes, we are watching. All right. We've got to focus on what's important. That's what you're here today. We want you to take notes. Again, we're going to talk about how I sell a million dollars a month in annuities using a virtual selling system that allows me to meet and close business from the comfort of my home or office wherever you want to do it. The turnkey franchise model that advisors are using to grow their practice with low overhead and no reduction in commissions. Um, if you will stay to the end, here's my ethical bribe. Uh, as you'll find out, I have written eight best-selling books. This is book number eight, The Ultimate Financial Advisor Marketing System. I will send you a physical copy, snail mail, um, if uh, you stay till the end, no, no, you don't have to pay for shipping or anything. Just stay till the end and I'll show you how you can get that. That is my ethical bribe to keep you here. I hope that's all right. Um, I've been interviewed in registered rep. I've been interviewed in insurance news net. And then of course the alphabet soup of media, NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, been in profiled in Forbes and Inc. Magazine. I started at AG Edwards uh, back in the, er in the late 90s. Now, some of you may remember A.G. Edwards. We don't, it doesn't exist anymore because in the 07, 08 subprime bubble burst, it got bought out by Wells, Wachovia and then Wachovia got bought out by Wells Fargo. But I started at A.G. Edwards and when I passed my series seven and it doesn't matter if you're insurance only, insurance license only, stay with me. Gene, I've been following for years. I've always been impressed. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. By the way, if you, I'll try and keep up with the questions in the chat box throughout. This isn't formal. You can type stuff in and I will try and interrupt and respond. So I passed my series seven, my six, my 63, my 65. Um, all my exams, I came back from training in St. Louis and the first day of production, uh, Monday morning, my branch manager said, come on in my office. I got you a book where all your clients are gonna come from your entire career. He said, oh my God, I'm young, I'm dumb, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna buy a Ferrari, give me the book. Um, and he handed me the phone book, literally the yellow pages. And he said, they're all in there, Tiger, go get them. And I didn't know any better, so I listened. I made 300, some of you may remember this formula. I made 300 cold calls a day because back before do not call, that would let you talk to 60 people. 15 would let you mail them information. Five would book appointments. Three would show up. And one, because I was a rookie, one I was told would become a client. So 300 dials equals one client a day. One client a day keeps the branch manager away. That's what he said. Do that long enough without shooting yourself in the head and you build yourself a career. And I said, there's gotta be a better way, man. This is a, I'm spending most of my time leaving messages that people aren't calling me back, talking to people who aren't interested. There's gotta be a better way. And he said, this was good enough for me. I built my business in the seventies, cold calling widows and orphans and selling them AT&T stock. It should be good enough for you. Um, so I went on my own to try and find better ways to do this, to find a better way of marketing a financial practice. And I had the good fortune to find, hire, find and meet and then beg my wife for 30 days in a row to let me borrow the money to go high, which is more than our first mortgage on our first house that we had just moved into, to go hire legendary marketing guru, Dan Kennedy. If you know who Dan is in the box, in the chat box, give me a amen. Give me an amen if you know who Dan Kennedy is. 
If you don't, he's written 21 best-selling books. He's the highest paid marketing consultant on the planet. Uh, Dan said, you got to be perceived as an expert. That was one of the first things he taught me. And they said, that's great, Diane. As I mentioned, young, dumb, don't know anything yet. How do I get perceived as an expert? And he said, you speak in front of a room full of people, right? If you're at the front of the room and there's 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 people watching you, you automatically get perceived as an expert, as long as you're not, you know, like a terrible public speaker. And they said, awesome, I could do that. Um, so these were, these are some of my seminars, which, you know, many of you have done. And the issue I ran into, here's something I want to talk about why you can't was corona hit right and then you took your seminar online and why can't you run it online why don't you get the same results anybody have any thoughts who's tried it why didn't it work again i'm trying to make this more of a conversation and i do talk fast i know that i've got a lot to get to and not enough time so i hope you will keep up with me um, why didn't your seminar when you put it into a letter why didn't it work there's no social dynamic right Control, says Tim Barry. Absolutely. There's no social dynamic, right? There's not 50 people in a room. So they don't have the safety in numbers. They don't have the, ooh, that person just went to the back of the room and booked an appointment. I want to go do that too. There's no herd mentality working for you. John says they're there too long. You're absolutely right. I, have you seen this? This is, I, I saw one advisor's webinar because I've been opting into some of your webinars just as a prospect trying to learn, hey, what is that advisor doing, right? Is it working? I saw one advisor's webinar where he spent 24 minutes on one slide. It literally didn't move. And you can't do that online because people will, they're, they're expecting television when they tune into something online. So they, you will watch like people, I will keep the slides moving this entire time. I won't spend more than a minute or two on each one because I want to keep your attention and I can watch and see people. If I spend too much time on a slide, you will drop off. You will pull up a browser tab and go on Facebook. You will go check your email. You will go do something. Uh, Tim says, too much brain bombardment with all the webinars, right? Remember when we first started doing seminars 20 years ago and nobody was doing them and you could mail and you got like a two, 3% response rate, right? You could mail 5,000 invitations and have a hundred people in a room because nobody was doing it. And now I literally joke that if you were pre-corona, if you were homeless, you could go, you never had to go hungry. You could go to any banquet hall, any restaurant with a banquet room, any night of the week, and there would be one, two, or three financial advisors and insurance agents doing seminars. And I literally played prospect a couple of times and went to other people's seminars and just showed up and said, I forgot my invitation and they let me in. So now everybody's doing webinars. So you got bombardment. Why are you doing seminars in the first place? What was the whole, I didn't gain any weight. <laughs> Tim, Listen, we'll piss off all the women on this call, but I try, have been trying for 20 years to gain weight. You know, the, it just doesn't work. My metabolism is just too fast. It doesn't matter how, I've, I've actually been in a medical study. That, that, that's a whole nother, all right, please get your solution, I'm going. Okay, so why are you doing a seminar in the first place? You're doing it because you want appointments, right? You want qualified appointments with qualified leads who are interested. What if you could skip, skip the seminar and go straight to the appointment? So this is not who's on Facebook now right? It's not my 13 year old son. He's not on Facebook. The fastest growing demographic on Facebook is baby boomers. Why are they getting on Facebook in droves? Anybody take a shot. Why are that? Why are all the senior citizens, our ideal clients, why are they all getting on Facebook? Uh, watch their grandkids. Exactly. They want to see pictures of their grandkids. You're absolutely right. And doing that has turned me in. Let, let me show you why we're not driving them to a webinar, what we're doing instead that has made me a hero at the independent broker dealer that I'm now with. As you know, I've been in registered rep. Um, I've been in insurance news net. Um, I've been profiled on success pro cover of success profiles magazine. That's my wonderful wife, Rebecca. Those are our three kids, Max, Ella, and Lily. The seminar model, I think was honestly dying before Corona happened. You've all used an invitation that looked something like this, right? And then you wonder why this guy shows up. You get plate liquors because the biggest part of the invitation was the free food. And then we act surprised, right? When people show up and just want the free food. Well, kind of, that's what we promoted. So maybe you got smarter like I did and you stopped offering free food because you only wanted the serious attendees, right? So you did it at a library or community center. That's where I did my college planning and tax and retirement planning. And then of course, Corona hit and you went online. And the, the sex appeal, of doing a webinar is they don't have to drive out to you, right? If they have younger kids, because I, I do a lot of college planning, if they have younger kids, they don't have to get a babysitter. They can watch in the comfort of their own home. They don't have to leave the couch. 
but you're still asking them to spend 45 minutes to an hour and a half with you virtually. And here's the problem, because if you want them to spend an hour and a half on their phone or their laptop with you, guess what you're competing with? You're competing with this guy. You're competing with Tiger King and everything else they're binge watching on Netflix. Um, and yes, my wife made me watch every single episode of Tiger King with her. Um, and honestly, he is more interesting than retirement planning. Um, is college planning dead today with the virus? No, it's, we're actually this year than we've ever been, but we're gonna get, we're get that, let's get to the next part. So if you were doing seminars before Corona, what was your response rate? Type it in the chat box. If you were sending direct mail, like if you were sending out 5,000 invitations, what were you getting half a percent? Were you getting 1%? What response rate were you getting in terms of how many people signed up? Uh, 75 basis points, under 1%, half a percent. Okay, yep, 1%. What if you got 10%? You couldn't handle it, right? If you sent out, five, no one's ever done it, but if you, got five, if you sent out 5,000 invitations and you got 500 people, you couldn't have a room that big, right? It, it would cost too much in dinners. It's just not gonna happen. But think about that. If you got 10%, that still means 90% of those people didn't respond to you. They ignored you. Forget about the 1%. What about that 99%? If you got a 1% or less response rate, that means 99% didn't respond. Here's what I think the fundamental issue is, whether you're doing a seminar or a webinar and why they're not working. You're asking them to get married on the first date. You're, I mean, you're going from, you don't know who I am, and you either saw a Facebook ad for five seconds or you got a piece in the mail and I'm asking you to spend an hour to an hour and a half to two hours with me, whether it's online or in person. That's actually the Little White Chapel. That's where Brittany got married in Vegas when she did her whole two day, three day wedding or whatever it was. But you're literally asking them to, if only arranged marriages worked 500 times a year. You're asking, that's awesome too. You're asking them to get married on the first date, which is why it doesn't work and why the majority of the people, no matter how good your invitation is, or how good your Facebook ad is, don't respond. They're not ready to go from zero to 100 miles an hour, just like that. So what if you had a baby step, a series of baby steps to warm them up first before you ever asked for that commitment of time? So that's what we're gonna dive into, the seven steps to online lead generation for financial advisors that actually work. James Cummings says, makes sense. James, it's your, are you Andy Cummings from A.G. Edwards? Oh my God, that would be too funny. Um, no, okay. So I shared an office that, that with Aunt James Andrew Cummings, local, that would have been really funny. All right, anyway. All right, so let's talk about the seven steps. You're gonna, I'm gonna go through them relatively quick. You're gonna write them down. Um, you're gonna take notes, and then obviously we'll share the solution. Step one is video. Because as you know, people are watching more video on Facebook and YouTube than network television now, um, even with DVRs. You've gotta have a video. We have found that sketch animation little doodle videos um, get 400% more responses than a talking head video. If I could have sketch animated myself for the entire hour, I would have, you would respond more. Um, so this is an example of our crash proof IRA lead generation system that generates annuity leads, prospects who are interested in qualifying in protecting their IRA or their investments from the next stock market crash that you all know is coming because Corona is not over. Then you gotta get that video viewed. So if you try to run a video, a commercial on television, they tell you it's based on circulation, right? Well, 100,000 people might see your video. Um, so we're gonna charge you based on that. Well, what if you only had to pay on the people, actually some of those people are gonna skip past it, some of those people are gonna DVR it, some of those people aren't gonna watch. What if you only paid for the people who actually watched your video? That is, how Facebook video ads work. You can pay, and this is, you see an example of an actual advisor getting six cents for someone to watch his entire video. Then you've gotta get people engaged. And on Facebook, if you don't know, engagement is a like, a comment, or a share. We wanna get them past watching the video and get them to do something social with it. So in this case, you're seeing examples of uh, an engagement rates of 3%, 2%, 4%. What is normally considered good on Facebook, if you talk to any Facebook ad agency, they'll tell you a baseline is 1%. And what you, you've heard that number, right? In direct mail for seminars before. If 100 people watch your video and one person clicks through to the website, that's considered good on Facebook. And these, you'll see these are all running many multiples of 1% because we figured out a better way to do it. 
then we've got to get them engaged. For example, you can see in the left, all of these people posting and commenting on our post about the next stock market crash that's coming. You're going to see Cheryl, whoever she is, what are people going to do when this country loses its dollar and they have to receive a mark to use a global currency? It's coming. Read your Bible. So again, she might not be our ideal client because she's a little off um, in an extremist point of view, but that's engagement. That's look at all of these people saying, um, the stock uh, saying Obama had not been sworn in when Chase Bank said it was folding because of housing loan. Democrats want socialism, the Great Depression, grandparents told store. I mean, you see all of these people, people posting memes, all engaging with content we've created, specifically designed to get people starting a conversation and chiming in with their opinion. I don't care if they agree or disagree because Facebook rewards us based on interactivity. They consider it a positive user experience if people are commenting. It can't tell if they're agreeing or totally disagreeing with our content. It just sees that they're interacting. So we specifically sometimes post controversial stuff to get people to engage. And they literally are fighting each other. They're literally commenting and somebody else comments on their comment going, you're wrong. And I don't even have, we don't even have to do the work. They're all fighting with each other, but Facebook rewards us with cheaper advertising costs because our ads are viewed as engaging. And then we've got to get them through to the actual lead generation magnet. I'm going to show you our bait that we use to go fishing with. And you'll see again on this campaign, we had a click through rate, not 1% that's considered good, but 6.6%. And this person got 190 clicks and they were getting clicks to their website, lead generation funnel at 19 cents a pop. When was the last time you could go to local me? I mean, you can't even buy a stamp to send a seminar invitation for 19 cents a pop. Then we've got to get them to convert. It's not enough to get them to land on our landing page, which I'll show you in a second. We have to actually get them to register. We have to get them to give you their name, their email, their phone number. Um, we have to get them to answer some questions to make sure they're qualified, like how much money they've got. And if they're actually worried about the market going down some more. And you'll see, I'll show you all kinds of different campaigns and all kinds of different ads that have generated really attractive cost per leads. Now, of course, not every lead is going to follow through, right? If they were, I'd be retired already. But that's why we have in-house appointment setters that literally call these people all day long for you. So you don't have to even chase them. We call them all for you, book the appointments on your calendar, and all you've got to do is sit back and watch and say, ooh, I have three appointments this week. Awesome. I'm going to go meet with those people. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So we talked about the lead magnet. Um, what are we fishing for? What is our bait? And in this case, to generate annuity leads, people interested in protecting their money from the next crash, it's a free report. It's an ebook, a short ebook, because they won't, if I give them 200 pages, if you transcribed your webinar, your hour and a half long webinar, and said, read my 75 page ebook, not as many are gonna respond. We tried it. But if we offer them like 10, 11, 12 pages, enough to tease them and get them excited about the concept without telling them specifically what it is. So then we don't need certain disclaimers from our broker dealers if you've got them. And because we don't want them taking it to their existing financial advisor and saying, hey, this says I need an equity index annuity. How do I get one of those? I don't want to tell them what it is because then they can go to their advisor. I want them calling you or me and saying, hey, I want that crash proof IRA. I'll take that appointment, please. Um, then we need follow up. We have a right now we've got a 60 day drip sequence via email, in addition to all the phone calls we're gonna make chasing them for you. And we keep adding more steps to that follow-up sequence literally every single week. So we're gonna drip on them forever. So let me give you some examples of some results. So this is an actual client, and you'll see, if you look under the results section, you'll see, you'll see how many split tests we run, dozens and dozens of different versions of the ad at different interests to see which one works the best. And you'll see this one got eight leads for $13.29 a lead. This one got six leads for $20 each. This one got five leads for 17. This one got one lead for $60. So we stopped running it. Uh, this one got a, another lead for $61. So you can see we keep optimizing and we've gotten that cost per lead for this advisor. Every city is different. We got this advisor started at $61 a lead and now have them down to 13. It just depends on the city and what markets are gonna resonate with what concepts. I pulled in one point, uh, one, almost $1.1 million from Fisher Investments last Monday 
from online leads that I never met in person. This is their actual statements. I grayed out um, their names, <laughs> but as you can see, you'll see 523,000 in his IRA, 560,000 in her IRA. So literally about $1.1 million from somebody, saw the ad, read the ebook, booked an appointment, did the appointment over Zoom with me, moved money. Now, if you had a choice between mom, Bob's, Pop's burger, dogs, and mom's burgers, this is what you get your choices. You can own this or you can own McDonald's. Which one would you pick? Give me the obvious answer in the chat box because I'm making sure you're still paying attention. Emma, get off Twitter. Tim says McDonald's. Tim's paying attention. Awesome. Robert, Heather, Javier, everybody says Mickey D's. Why do you want Mickey D's? Why don't you want Pop's Dogs and Mom's Burgers? Why would you rather have McDonald's? Why would you rather have McDonald's? System, says Robert. Yes. So what's great about McDonald's? They get qualified leads. I have never seen anyone walk into McDonald's and not buy something. I've never seen anyone go through the drive-thru and say, no, I changed my mind. I don't want any food, right? They have qualified. Everyone who comes in, comes in to buy. They've got a proven selling system that's so simple, 16-year-old morons can do it, which is, welcome to McDonald's. How can I help you? And then, would you like to supersize that? It's a known brand, Carolyn. You're absolutely right. They've got products. They've got operational support. And they've, again, got systems to bring people in the door, systems to sell them the food, and systems to make a Big Mac that anybody can follow. So we have built what I believe is the franchise model in financial services. We've got a seven-step online lead generation funnel. It's got a landing page with the right video on it. We've got ad creation and management. We've got lead capture and multimedia follow-up. And we even, James wants fries. Yeah, I could go for some fries right now. Uh, and we even make the phone calls and set the appointments for you. This is an example of the Crash Proof IRA funnel. And you can see those are the leads that came out of it. Um, that's January and February. Obviously, we're still running it and I can show you leads now. But literally, those are actual people and their information that filled it out and said, yes, I want that. This is Carrie Qureshi. She's an attorney and a financial advisor. And Carrie says, I was getting leads from the so-called industry gurus and I was disappointed with the results. Then I started using aligned interest leads. That's what we're calling these because they actually want what you have. Now I'm getting more leads than ever. And more importantly, they're highly qualified leads that are turning into paying clients. You're also gonna get our elevated advisor. That's what we're calling the program, the elevated advisor program, virtual selling system. We're gonna give you our sales scripts that I use on the first phone appointment, the second phone appointment, the second, the first Zoom appointment, the second Zoom appointment, literally through the process of every meeting. We're gonna train you every single week and get you up to speed and role play with you and practice with you on how we run these appointments. You can run it your own way if you want, but you might as well learn our proven system that's working. We're gonna provide, again, automated follow-up and we're gonna make the phone calls and the appointments for you. This is literally, this changed my business, this right here. This is my three-step stick figure drawing annuity close. This is how I present what an equity indexed annuity or fixed annuity or fixed index is. I used to use illustrations. I used to use scattergrams and charts and graphs. And my close rate was horrible. Like it was like 50%. It was hit or miss whether or not people who should have bought an annuity, who said they wanted one, who said they wanted the concept of crash proofing their IRA would actually buy. And I went back to Dan Kennedy, my mentor, and I said, Dan, what am I doing wrong? I'm generating qualified leads, but they're not buying. And Dan said, go take your presentation. He said, you got three kids. I said, yes. How old's your youngest? I said, seven. He said, go present to her. I said, what are you talking about? He said, go give your seven-year-old daughter your annuity pitch, the way you give it to a client. Tell me if she understands it. I said, okay. I presented to Lily. Lily said, Daddy, I have no clue what you just said. I told Dan. Dan said, present it to, dumb it down enough that she can get it and try again. And keep dumbing it down until your daughter understands it and says it sounds like she wants one, even though she's seven. So I came up with stick figure drawings. And I finally get, and I gave it to her. And Lily's like, oh my God, Daddy, that sounds cool. 
And I went back to Dan and Dan said, now go do it with a client. I said, you're crazy. I can't do this with a client. He said, just do it once. And I did it and they bought. And he said, now go back to everyone who didn't buy and say, I want to show you something and do this. And I said, but they already said no. He said, they said no, because they didn't understand it. You explained it too complicated. Go do your three stick figure drawings for them again. And I closed like 40% of the people who had said no. And my close rate went from a 50% close rate to like 85% because they get it. So I will teach you how to do my lousy stick figure drawings. Um, oh, questions. Melinda, is the system geo-targeted for our local market or wherever we're licensed to sell? That, so it is geo-targeted and you will have the opportunity to lock in your city, assuming it's available. Or um, if you want more, because I'm licensed in six states, but I don't run ads in six states because I have advisors in some of those other states and they have those states. So if you want a city or an area that's available you can have it but you can't say give me 17 states um because that's not fair to everybody else um can this system be used face to face yeah when corona is over you can absolutely meet with these people face to face i actually started this um i started using the stick figure thing before corona and it worked so you can do, and i started i had the the book it was a book lit that we physically mailed so you can do it face to face after if you can meet with people now or after corona um, is this the same thing IBM tells their corporate? Oh, that is the same thing IBM tells their corporate reps to present to six-year-old. True story. I did not know that. Awesome. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, this is Steve Sadler. Steve said the proven selling system brought in brand new people we had never learned before, never met before that learned about our company. With the aligned interest leads, we closed deals of fifty thousand, seventy-five thousand, and three hundred thousand. I think it's safe to say this qualifies as a huge success. Tim Barry says, recently lost a deal to a software engineer. I took too long to close. Yep. It's so funny because people go book on, when we get to the presentation meeting, I'll, I'll share with that with you inside the program, but literally people will go book an hour long meeting with me and we're done in 15 minutes because I do the three stick figure drawing and they're like, okay, sign me up. And then the rest of the time is paperwork and it doesn't take, it, I mean, there are a lot of forms to sign for an annuity, but it doesn't take an hour. And they're like, how come that didn't take so long? I'm just like, because it made sense and you didn't have any questions. When I presented with illustrations and all that stuff, my meetings would take like two hours, Tim. You're absolutely right. I would say, oh my God, it took me two hours and they still don't get it and they still didn't buy. And now it takes like 10 minutes because everybody gets my stick figure drawings. I'm not a good artist. That's as good as they, they're going to get, but it's the concept of making it so simple. My seven-year-old got it. Um, we're going to give you the products and operations because you can actually get this whole thing for free. Um, so we're going to give you street level commissions through our FMO. We're going to give you the top product offer offerings in the industry and a true franchise model that literally you don't have to, all you have to do is sell people um, who want to buy. It makes it really easy. Does the system work good with me as a licensed insurance agent? Yeah, James, if you can write annuities, whatever kind they are, this will work. Um, Eddie says you use e-apps. Depends on the carrier. Not every carrier is with them, but for a number of, for the carriers that do offer them, Yes, we use e-apps. If they don't, um, then we just mail them paperwork and they mail it back. Um, are we required to contract with your FMO? Yes and no. So I don't want you to move everything. So here's the deal. If you're writing, like we have advisors and broker dealers that can't write through an FMO. That's okay. Just do your thing. But if you do contract for this business that these leads generate with our FMO, once I can show you how to, you can literally get this whole thing for free because we'll pay for it if you're writing enough business. So let me get there. So these are examples of some of the products and some of the companies we've got deal, deal agreements with. This isn't all of them. We have like hundreds of them. So if you see one on your, oh, I'm already with them. I can't move that contract. That's fine. We have plenty. I just wanted to share with you, obviously, that we've got top level commissions with almost every, most carriers. So you don't have to worry about that. We're not going to tell you who to write. You, you can ask for our contract, our contracting department. You can ask them, Hey, who should I, what should I do for this case? And they'll run the index Elizer and come up with the best choice, but you don't have to do it. If you want to just pick on your own, as long as it's somebody that you can contract with us to get it free, you're fine. Um, no, you're not. Sorry. I got in late. Do you send us the appointments or do we do a webinar? Okay. Cheryl, you missed a whole lot, Cheryl. Um, there is no webinar. We're just going to give you appointments. How many reps can you support with this nationwide? We haven't maxed out yet. Um, so we're trying to do one per city because I don't want like 10 guys 
okay, so I wouldn't let anyone else in Buffalo because it's not big enough. In Manhattan, you could probably have five or 10 reps because there'd be enough traffic to just, to, you could all eat based on that. There'd be enough leads for everybody. In uh, Buffalo, there wouldn't be. So again, we haven't even scratched the surface yet. So you're going to get the qualified leads. You're going to get our proven sales process. And if you work with us, you're going to get our products and operations support. Um, so what would it be worth? How do you know if your city is available? Type it in the chat box and I'll tell you. Um, so what would it be worth if you got leads that were highly qualified, a proven system that you could sell virtually or in person if you want, and the best products and support in the industry? Again, you're going to get the seven-step online lead generation funnel, elevated advisor virtual selling system, our products and operations. Oh, geez, everybody's typing in chat. <laughs> Cities. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, hang on. Uh, let me get through the rest. I'm going to have to go back. Um, I love it, but I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, so if you went to go get a seven-step online lead generation funnel built with a 60-day follow-up sequence, it would normally cost you $10,000. Ask me how I know, because I paid another marketing firm to build one once, uh, it didn't work. You're gonna get the Elevated Advisor virtual selling system. You're gonna get our products and operations. It would normally be like $11,000 to get that. Don't worry, you're not gonna pay it. We normally charge $5,000 a month to run all that at elevatedadvisor.com slash enroll. Don't worry, you're not gonna pay that either. Total investments, three grand a month. That includes the management fee of 1,500. That includes the ad budget to Facebook and the cost of our appointment center to make all the phone calls and set the appointments for you. Here's how it works. Week one, you set up your contracts with us for those of you who can. We start setting up your funnel and you meet the Elevated Advisor team. Week two, we finalize your contracts if you're writing business with us. We'll finish your funnel and teach you how to set up your virtual selling system. Week three, your lead generation system goes live. You start training on the sales system. And if you need help understanding the annuity products, you work with our back office team to get up to speed on the products. Week four, you start getting leads. We start calling them for you and we start setting up your appointments for you. You finish your sales training and you start, we offer coaching. I do coaching sessions every single week, same time, same day. You jump on, we role play, we go through everything. You're also gonna get Ty Tyrone Clark. Some of you may know Tyrone Clark from Bloker's Choice, our FMO. He is the annuity king. Um, he has God, been in the business, I think longer than I've been alive. Um, his advanced annuities training, which is amazing, um, is actually included absolutely free. Now, you can actually get everything for free because if you'll write the business from these leads with us, once you're doing a million dollars a month, not only will we waive the monthly fee, but we'll pay your ad spend to Facebook for you. So we'll literally pay you to write business with us. Um, if you're with BCA already, that's fine. You're just going to start writing more business with them and they're going to be very happy. Now, before I go back and get all of those questions, um, if you want a copy of my book, again, we have to wait for Amazon to ship them to us because books aren't essential, right? It's not a healthcare product, so it might take a week or two. But if you send me an email at seth at elevatedadvisor.com with the subject line free book and your mailing address, we'll send you out a book as soon as we get them here. So hang on one second. Let me put in the chat box, the two links. It's www.elevatedadvisor.com slash enroll. You'll pay $1,500 a month to us. That's the management fee. The ad spend will go to Facebook. Um, we can talk about the, set, the breakdown of all of that, but you'll start at $1,497 a month so we can start building it out and get you contracted and get your funnel built and get everything right away. You won't start paying Facebook till those ads are running. Now, we're going to go back to everybody's cities. Um, here, I'm going to, okay, so hang on. I've got to see if I can make this. Okay. Send me, um, okay. Sorry, Tim, send me your list of carriers. Um, I don't, uh, send me your email address. I can get you a list of carriers. Uh, okay. Do we track sales success for appointments? Yes. Um, percentage of appointments, sales, volume, all of that stuff. Yes. Uh, Tampa, Florida, David Swanson, open. Daryl Blackman, Atlanta. You can't have the whole state. Pick a city. Um, Dennis, Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Don't have anybody in Basking Ridge. Is Basking Ridge near a big, I don't know Jersey. Is it big enough? Is it near a big city? Birmingham, Alabama. Open. 
Uh, work, what if you work multiple small to medium cities in various states? Um, it depends on how big they are. It depends on if they overlap with anybody else, James. I mean, I can't give you 10 of them. Um, let me know. Fort Wayne, Indiana, open. Uh, Dallas, Texas, open. Miami, open. North Carolina, ooh, Greensboro, North Carolina, maybe not. I know we've got somebody in North, we've got somebody in a, somebody, Greensboro, how far away from you from, I know I've got people in Charlotte and I know I've got people in Salem. Um, Orlando is open. Were those stats Facebook ads only? Yes. Austin, Waco, Texas. Shoot, I know we've got someone. I think Austin's okay. Um, I don't know about Waco. I know we've got someone somewhere nearby in Texas. Um, Bay Area, is that, forgive my ignorance, is that San Diego, San Francisco? Bridgewater, New Jersey, if, is Bridgewater big enough? If so, it's open. Miami, we had a couple people ask for Miami, so it's gonna be first come, first serve. Barry County, Michigan. I have no idea. Does Barry County, what cities does Barry County, big city would be in Barry County? I wouldn't know. Um, San Francisco, East Bay. Um, I know we've got somebody near Silicon Valley. I don't know if that helps. You paid for two other firms that didn't deliver. You only paid for two. That's pretty good, Tim. I have literally a storage unit full of crates of stuff I bought that didn't work. Uh, Portland, Maine is open. Um, Seattle's taken, uh, zip codes. I can't, I don't know what zip codes, those zip codes, those are David. Um, I love Tyrone Clark already pointed with him. Awesome. Indianapolis and Fort Wayne. Those are open. Scottsdale's taken. Sorry, Steve. Scottsdale, Arizona is taken. So is Phoenix. Phoenix is taken. Is there a minimum guarantee for leads? Uh, we'll get you as many as we can for whatever your ad budget is. So at 3,000, your ad budget's about 1,500. You can spend more than that and get more leads. That's totally up to you. Um, we actually have advisors who spend more, who are, I think the, our rec, the most our, one of our advisors is spending right now is like $2,000 a month. You can spend more, you can spend less, the more you spend more leads you're gonna get. It's up to you. Uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, open. Fort Wayne, is that Fort Wayne, Indiana? I think somebody else about that. Whoever gets it first takes it. Steve, Phoenix is taken, sorry. Um, Atlanta, Georgia is open, Daryl, but again, somebody else already asked about it. So if they went and bought it, it's gone. Um, Chicago, Illinois and surrounding area, Chicago is gone. San Antonio is open. Where is Redlands, California? Clemens? I don't know where that is. I'm sorry. Forgive my geographical ignorance. Las Vegas is open. Stanford, Connecticut is open. Vegas has already been asked about. Manhattan, Kansas. I didn't know there was a Manhattan in Kansas, so I'm assuming it's open. Sarasota, Bradenton, Venice, Southwest Florida. I don't know if you can have all three. I don't know if they're big enough. Um, Denver, Colorado is open. Aiken, South Carolina. I got Salem, so I don't know how close that is. If that's too close to Salem, you can't have it. If it's not, you can. Augusta, Georgia is open. How many appointments should one expect for 3,000 a month? Depends on the city. Every city's different. Um, I would say the average is like six appointments or more. So maybe if you're if you're doing all the math, if you're dividing, you're paying 200 to 300 bucks for each qualified appointment because not every lead will convert. But again, you write a. I mean, you write one, you're more than making your three grand back. Um, but obviously, once you write a million, it's free. If you're writing with us, if you're not, you're just going to keep paying. But I mean, you write two annuities, you're making a bunch of money. Uh, let's see here. Grand Rapids, Michigan, I think is open. San Francisco, we've had like four people ask. Whoever gets it first gets it. So if you're in doubt, if you're wondering, if other people have asked about your city, whoever gets it first, it's first come, first serve, just go buy it. If someone else already took it, I'll just refund your money right away. Um, St. Louis is open. Somerset County, New Jersey. I don't know where in Jersey that is. Fred, where is that? Um, Worcester, Massachusetts is open. New Mexico, it, oh, small state. New Mexico is fine. Um, would you predict that 90% of sales can be made virtually for the long term, even after the coronavirus? Sure. So you can, I mean, that's why I market state. I was marketing statewide before Corona, just because you can. Um, Zoom existed before that. So I would say we have more 
it will certainly be more accepted. And again, how many of you have clients in more than one state because people move, right? But you keep the relationship. So you might as well be marketing in other places if you can, because people are getting more and more used to, now they're forced to get used to the virtual world. Um, hang on, Detroit metro area is open. Uh, what does 1500 usually produce in leads? Um, you want leads or appointments? Because I can answer that. Um, average deal per appointment. That's going to range. I mean, a couple hundred thousand would be my guess. Again, you're, if they, they're not going to write every single one of those, and you're not going to put every penny in an annuity, but you kind of get the idea. Um, is there a discount if I'm contracted with Broker's Choice? No, but if you contract with Broker's Choice and you write a million a month, this becomes free. So you get a 100% discount once you write $3,000 a million a month. Uh, how many contracts do you need to launch? One. Um, is comp street level or haircut? Street level. Appointments for Facebook for the cost of $1,500. Again, I'd say five or six. It could be more if your city is more populated. It could be less if it's smaller. Uh, to hang on, there were people who wrote Q&A in the Q&A box. Um, Denver, Colorado, again, five people have asked. Whoever gets it first gets it. And I'm doing this, so I can't check and see who's bought what. Uh, San Jose is open. Central New Jersey, again, we had five or six ask. Whoever gets it, gets it. Cincinnati, Ohio is open. Did I comment on Central New Jersey? Uh, I think I just did. And the answer is first come, first serve. Um, will the sales process be useful for all the prospects and referrals from other sources we have? I mean, oh, damn, I didn't think about it. I mean, yeah, you could use it for anybody else. I won't get paid on it. Um, I didn't think about that. I won't get an override on your production if you go write other leads, other places. Um, but yeah, what the hell? Uh, you could be yeah, a rising tide lifts all boats. Yes, you can use my sales process somewhere else. That's fine. I'm not charging separately for that. It's included. When can we review your sales presentation? Well, you have to enroll first. Um, you'll get it in week one. James says, I mean with your carriers. Um, I don't understand. Yes, you can use my sales process with other carrier. I mean, it's a, it, it's my sales process kind of gets them, I got a process for the first call, I got a process for the fact finding, I got a process for the presentation. Um, oh, like if you get someone to give you a referral, we have a whole separate service that generates referrals. Um, if you have a, if you get a referral, can you use my sales process with them? Yes. Yes, absolutely. All right. Now, obviously we've got everybody as ways with all the questions in the chat box has pushed the links way back up. So here, let me put them back in here again so you can see them. All right, I will, all right, length of the contract. Um, we don't have, we should have one, we don't. I would say give us a couple, I mean, you'll, you'll, it'll be up and running in the first month. I would say give it three months, mentally, give it three months. Give it time to work, give us time to get you a decent number of appointments um, and a decent number of leads. Uh, but technically it's month to month, you can quit anytime you want. Good question, Tim. Remember, if you want the free book, send an email to Seth at elevatedadvisor.com, subject line free book and your address, and then elevatedadvisor.com slash enroll will take you to the sign up page. It will look like this. Um, it's supposed to, what the? Do, do, do. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, it should look like this. You should see me and a just video and the order form. If there, if that the first link I gave you didn't work, if there's an error for some reason, use the second one with the code at the end of it. Um, to do. do. What are my top four favorite carriers? It honestly doesn't matter what my favorites are because you can use this to sell whatever you want as long as it's either with us or whatever. Um, but my person, I mean, I like Allianz. I like Equitable. Um, I like F&G. I like Centennial. Um, 
that's the fixed index aside. We could have a whole separate conversation about variable if you want, because I am a broker dealer guy. Uh, but again, we've got software that'll run through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of carriers and annuity contracts to find the best one for this particular situation. We can sort by like 50 different factors, whether it's cap rates or which index choices you have or crediting or length of time or point to point or all that stuff. Um, so that decision you don't have to make today because again, it's every client's going to be different. Um, and you're going to make that on a case by case basis, but our back off BCA will help you with every single case if you want. All right, I got 15 more minutes left on the clock, so I will keep answering questions. Um, with 3,500 ad spend likely to generate 15 to 20 leads or more. Let's go jump in an ad account and take a look. Okay, so if I look at Paul, if I go look at Paul, when 3,500, yes. If you spent 3,500 in ad spend, you'll actually get more than 20 leads a month. Um, you'll get more than 35 leads a month. You'll get, um, that's, that's a nice chunk of ad budget. And again, remember there's a difference between leads and appointments. That's anywhere you go, any marketing firm you have, whether there are industry specific or not, there's always gonna be a difference. Not every lead is gonna convert, but that's the beauty of the system is we'll chase them for you. We're not handing you more work to do. We're not saying go make, go call these people every single day and follow up with them and chase them and leave the messages because you don't have time for that. We're gonna do all of that for you and you're only gonna show up on, you're only gonna meet with people who actually are gonna have appointments, not phone calls. I am trying advisor.com slash enroll. It's not coming up. Crap. Okay. So here, go here. Okay. I'm putting a new link in the chat box. It's elevated advice. I think we crashed it. Elevated advisor.com slash enroll 36516152. Try that. Cause that I'm, I'm looking at that right now and it's it's working. So put the code on the end of it. So I apologize. I think we have so many people. Shouldn't be crashing it. It's not Kim Kardashian's picture or anything. And we did test it Friday. But go to Elevate. There may be a problem with ClickFunnel, but with our funnel hosting provider as opposed to us, because the funnel does work. So just go to Elevate. Do go to the second link I posted, the one with the code on the end. That one I know works. I'm looking at it right now. Hi, Los Angeles, California. That's open. Okay, it says it's working. Are you only working off the concept of crash proofing the IRA? Um, no, technically we have other options, but that's the one we're talking about here um, to generate annuity leads. If you want, we can have a separate conversation about something else, but for the purposes of this particular program that we're offering today, it's the crash proof IRA concept to get you annuity leads. Do you use prospects? Do you use with prospects a retirement gap software? We do. Um, you don't have to get the one we use. And we'll, that's part of the training is we can either work with what you've got, whether you use e-money or Navaplan or anything on the market, they'll all probably be fine. I personally use something called OTAR Retirement Calculator, which is like a hundred bucks, um, which to me, I've told Jim who invented it, he's charging, he should charge 10 times as much. That's a particular software I use in my financial planning and doing the plan for people. Uh, but you don't have to use it. Again, I don't get paid for recommending it. I'm not an affiliate, but you asked, so I'll tell you. You don't need it to make this work. Any system will work. Which software again for the planning? Okay, I use, I use a bunch of things. And this is part of the training. I use like four different software programs, but the one you're asking about is OTAR Retirement Calculator. But again, you don't have to go get it. I'm not telling you to buy it. This worked. You can sell it, you can use any financial planning or analysis software and it'll work just fine. That's just what I happen to use. Because when I AG Edwards, when I wasn't AG Edwards, they provided in-house custom financial planning software. And then when I went independent in 07, I had to get my own and I looked at everything. And this is just what I happen to buy and I've been using ever since. But you don't have to use it. Again, no pressure. Oh, hang on, more questions, more questions. Uh, Los Angeles, California. Yes. Uh, still open, but it's been asked about. So again, first come, first serve. 
again, nobody earlier commented that they were. So either the link was working earlier and now it isn't and you need the second link. Um, I don't know. I apologize about that. We'll have to yell at our tech people. But the elevatedadvisor.com session roll 36516152 appears to be working now. I apologize that the shorter one isn't. That's annoying. All right. We got 10 more minutes. Again, email me for the free book. Go sign up at the longer link posted in the chat box. Let's see. Oh, we got some cities that got taken. I'm going to go sign in and find out. Okay. Uh, looks like Michigan. Looks like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is this? Hastings, Michigan, whatever that's near. David, congratulations. David at Michigan Group. Um, oh, David Goldner in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Long time no see. Glad to have you back, David. Congratulations. Uh, and then Worcester, Worcester, Massachusetts, gone. Congratulations. Oh, you didn't put your first name in. How is that possible? Um, oh, you did. It's just not in Stripe. Whoever's my CBP, um, you got Worcester. Congratulations. Okay, Cheryl, I would like to ask about other options in IRA. I will email you. Okay. Do we need any personal branding or personal website? No, you do not. Because again, they're going through the funnel we're building for you. Um, which for compliance purposes is unbranded in the ad and unbranded in the landing page. So your name doesn't show up until they have opted in and said, yes, I want it. Then you show up and you'll shoot a shoot short one minute video for me on the thank you page. Then your name shows up. So it's specifically unbranded on the front end so that if you had a compliance situation, one of the ways I can't give you legal advice. I'm not a compliance attorney. Don't play one on TV, but one of the ways to get around that is to have it be unbranded. Um, what size portfolios are common? It's gonna vary market to market, ad to ad, day to day. Um, I'm seeing anywhere between 300 and a million bucks, 300K and a million bucks every pretty much. Does any level of production reduce monthly expense? Yeah, if you do a million a month, it's free and we'll pay your ad spend to Facebook too. Would you break down the cost again, please? Yes, 1500 a month in management fee, the other 1500 is going to be ad budget and cost of our appointment setter. She only gets paid per appointment, which is the beauty of it. Doesn't matter if she makes 50 phone calls. If she only makes one appointment, she gets paid for one. And again, that'll come out of ad spend. It's separate. We'll go, but basically you're paying $1,500 in a management fee and $1,500 in ad spend. Been searching for whiteboard animation, but never had success with good content. We've done dozens of them, man. We live on whiteboard animation. Um, I've written at least a dozen of them. And that's how we figured out they're 400% more effective, four times more effective than regular talking head videos. Sorry, I missed a lot. Is this recorded? The whole point was this wasn't, we weren't doing a replay. It was, if you miss it, you miss out. That was to get you to show up. Oh man, you guys are awesome. I've been branded to an FMO. Do not have my own brand or site. Do you have solutions for that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You don't need it. Because again, they're going through our crash proof IRA funnel. They're not going through your regular website. So it doesn't matter. You don't need a website. You don't need a Facebook fan page because you're going to use ours. Because um, again, we have one that's national that has thousands and thousands of fans on it. We tried doing this through an individual advisor's Facebook. We had five advisors like, can you use my Facebook fan page so it'll help it grow? But they had like 120 followers. So the ads didn't work because everybody viewed it. The prospects thought it was incredible because only 120 people liked it. So they didn't bother, they didn't respond. So they said, we got to scrap that. You got to use our national page because people respond to it. Yes, so we have a solution. If you're branded, doesn't matter. Do, 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 hang on. Let's go see what else we got. What other cities got taken? All right, had another one. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Terry, um, do, 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 do. Tim Berry, congratulations, you are in. All right, we have six more minutes. Six more minutes. Fire away your questions. Explain the follow-up sequence and dripping, please. Sure, you know what, I'll show it to you. How about you stay till the end? I will literally show it to you because I'm, I'm excited. 
I love helping advise. I'm still a practicing advisor, as you saw. Like, I have a meeting tomorrow. I have a meeting at 4.30 today. I have one meeting today. I have another meeting tomorrow. Um, to do. So I'll just keep bringing in business. Okay, so let me share with you. Is that the right one or the wrong one? Hang on. That's the wrong one. Hang on. Let me bring it up. All right, you ready? I'm going to share with you the follow up sequence. I'm already with Tyrone. Any discounts available? Yes. If you write a million a month with us, this all becomes free and we pay for it for you. That's your discount. You can get it for free, but you got to write a million a month with us. All right. So you wanted the follow up sequence. So here's the follow up sequence. That's um, every one of those is an email that's going out to your prospects from you. So it's literally going from your email address to them, but you don't have to send it. So this is advisor Niles Geary. Shh, don't tell him I'm using him as an example. But as you can see, the email is coming from his direct email address. So if someone hits reply and says, oh, I want to talk, I'm interested, they, the reply will show up in your email inbox. Um, so they get dripped. It's got disclaimers. It's got your compliance stuff. Again, they're going to get dripped on for two months as of today via email. Plus, we're going to be calling them all the time to book the appointment. Um, and then we write more. We add to that sequence every week. So right now it's two months long. By the end of June, it's probably going to be three months long. We're just going to keep adding and adding and adding. They, we will never stop tripping on that. Um, how many months of a million for free marketing? One. Every time you do a million bucks, you get your marketing for free for that month. That was the deal Tyrone gave me. He said, if they write a million, that month is free. I didn't see where to check off the city on the approval. No, no, no. You put the city in. Okay, so you put your address in when you punched in your credit card. And then when we do your, so what's going to happen? Thank you, Tim. What's going to happen is your account rep um, is going to reach out to you tomorrow in the next 24 hours to set up your onboarding call. On that onboarding call, we will say, hey, your credit card statement says Fort Wayne, Indiana. Do you want Fort Wayne or do you want someplace else? And if you want someplace else, you can then ask us if that's available. Um, we're going to default to assuming that where you are is where you want, like Tim is Fort Wayne. But we didn't put a separate thing in the box. You're going to go over that with your rep because we had issues one time doing that where the credit card said, this doesn't match. Tim said Fort Wayne, but now, but he also punched in a separate city. Our credit card company got confused and was declining charges. So you just punched in your billing address on your credit card. If you want a different city than Fort Wayne, you can, or register whatever you put in, you will tell your account rep on your call and she'll reach out to you. And then most likely tomorrow, uh, cause it's two o'clock Eastern, most likely tomorrow. What else you guys got? You got two minutes. All right, so you are going to last two minutes, elevatedadvisor.com forward slash enroll 36516152. I apologize that the just enroll version crashed. Um, it shouldn't have, it did work on Friday, I swear. It's the beauty of technology. Zoom worked today, that helps. All right, one more minute. Other questions? Remember, shoot me an email to get your free book. Do do. Let me go. Let me go check. Let's see how many people sent in for the free book. Do do. do. Seth at elevatedadvisor.com. Oh man, it's Google Gmail. It's making me go get my password again. Is there any contract time period, or just what we decide after three months? Yeah, there's no time commitment. I would ask for three months. I'm gonna make you emotionally, mentally, financially in your head, commit to three months. Uh, Cause month one is getting it up and running and you start getting leads. Give us two months of leads and appointments. Um, and then we will be good. Hang on, I'm still checking me. I'm gonna stay on for an extra minute cause I'm checking my email to make sure you guys all send me. Make sure that worked, right? Gotta love technology. Here, let's go see. If everybody sent me emails for the free book. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> Apparently you are everybody. Well, uh, a lot of you sent in the emails for the book. Okay. So as soon as Amazon ships our next box of books, we'll ship them out to you. So it may take a week or two. Uh, let's see here. 
Let me just go check, see if any other cities are taken. Yes. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Um, Johnson City, Tennessee. Houston, Texas is gone. Uh, Charleston, North Carolina. Salem, South Carolina. Santan Valley, Arizona, wherever that is. You guys would know better than me. Uh, Melinda says, hello from a fellow Buffalonian. Awesome. Um, Wiley, you got to actually email me if you want the free book request. Email Seth at elevatedadvisor.com because this chat's going to disappear in about 60 seconds when I end this. Uh, Brett, is this recorded? No, the whole point was we don't do replays because then people won't show up. I had this issue over and over again. Our response rate of number of people who showed up was like 20% because everyone said, I'll just wait for the replay. And then they didn't watch it. Life got in the way, stuff happened. So we switched. My other, one of my other marketing coaches, Dave D, um, who's a partner of ours, um, who was absolutely awesome because he's the one who brought me into Dan Kennedy world and responsible for all this. He said, don't do replays. If you do replays, people don't show. He said, train your people, you do it once, and if they miss it, they miss out. And we switched to doing that, and magically everybody started showing up, right? We've had a higher percentage show up rate for this than almost any other webinar we do. Over half of you showed up, and normally it's like 20%. If we do a replay, 20% of the people show. If we don't do a replay, look at that. We had over 50% of you actually showed up because there was no replay. Um, no, Tom, you gotta actually email for the free book. <laughs> With a free book, send an email to Seth at elevatedadvisor.com with the subject line free book. Here, I'll show you. It looks, those emails, watch. See, look, if you send an email to Seth at elevatedadvisor.com, you see all these people saying free book, free book, free book. Send an email that says free book with your address, and I will mail it to you as soon as they come in. But Daryl, you forgot your city, state, and zip. Ah, there it is. So you got to send me, Seth at elevatedadvisor.com, an email saying you want the free book and I'll send you the book. Um, and if you are enrolling, it's elevatedadvisor.com slash enroll 36516152. I know you don't remember that. That's why it's in the chat box. Okay, uh, my time is up. Um, do we have any other questions before we wrap up? Oh, wait, hang on. I think, we're, I think we'll do one more. How many leads do you get a month on average? Everybody here. All right, that's a good question. I, I thought we answered, I forgot it. Okay, so I'm looking at accounts right now. So Paul has gotten 10 accounts so far in May, 10 leads in May. Um, so let's say one a day, one every other day at the latest. So 15 to 30 leads a month. Um, assume that's gonna turn into five, six, seven, whatever appointments. You aren't chasing the leads. We're chasing them for you. All you have to do is take the appointments and close the business. What's the website you use to qualify annuity? I'm sorry. All right, Omar, we're, you're the last question. Um, what do you mean website I use to qualify an annuity? I don't understand. Are you talking about how, what do we use to determine? I don't understand the question. Can you retype it, Omar? I'm happy to answer it. Do, do, do. Index Elizer. Oh, Daryl's answering for me. Thanks, Daryl. Uh, so if you're talking about the software we use to determine what annuity to write, that's Index Elizer. If that's what you're asking, I didn't realize it, Daryl. Thank you for helping out. Um, if that's what you're asking, then Daryl's got the right answer and it's Index Elizer. If that's not what you're asking, tell me in the chat box. Is that what you were asking or are you asking something else? Omar says, yes, great. Awesome. Thanks, Daryl, for helping. You translated Omar. I did not know what he was asking. All right, awesome. Thank you, everybody. Super glad you attended. Hope you got a lot out of this. Hope you learned something. Congratulations to those of you who enrolled. Uh, we look forward to generating leads for you um, and generating, more importantly, appointments. Super excited to help all of you help get more clients. And uh, thanks so much for attending.